Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well, I hope you're sitting comfortably, you are cosy and you have your snacks and your beverages at the ready because of course in today's video we are doing another tattoo enthusiast reacts to tattoo TikToks, we're getting very very close to that 100 mark, people keep asking me like what, what's gonna happen at 100, well maybe I might combust, maybe I will just, you know, turn into dust, turn into flames, and I will never be seen again. <laughs> After the amount of stuff that we have seen in this series, it's kind of understandable, isn't it? Yeah, I, I thought so too. For real, I will probably just do a hour long episode, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Before we jump into the wonderful and wild side of tattoo TikTok, I am happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see that your personal information was exposed on those public listing sites? Now there's obviously a lot of information about me online due to the nature of my job and I'm okay with that, but my super personal information I'm not okay with and I fully believe that nobody should be okay with that, you know? I'm super conscious of my internet safety. I always have been because I'm a child of the 90s. I grew up as the internet became more accessible. And even back when I was a child and growing up, you would always hear these horror stories about the bad men on the internet, you know, like don't fall for any scams and all of that. Never give out your personal information. But as time has gone on, internet scammers have become so much more crafty with what they do and how they collect information about you. Did you know that data brokers are making an absolute fortune selling your personal information to those that want it? From robocallers, scammers, spammers, and anybody else that wants to learn more about you. For example, where you live, your phone number, email address, all of that stuff. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do so. So let Aura handle all of that for you. What I love about Aura is the fact that it is super easy to set up. You have everything you need in one place instead of having multiple different apps, multiple different accounts. Aura has multiple different tools to keep you safe online. For example, parental control, a VPN, password management, and a antivirus and so much more. You get everything at one affordable price and all in one place. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with a peace of mind. Stop data brokers from exposing your information. Go to my sponsor, aura.com forward slash treacle for your 14 day free trial. That is aura.com forward slash treacle and see if any of your personal information has been compromised. I just want to say thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Okay, now let's look at the wonderful and wild side of tattoo TikTok. I'm excited and nervous to see what it has in store for me today. I just want to say thank you for always tagging me in tattoo TikToks as well. Of course, this series would not be possible without all of you tagging me in stuff. Oh, I just opened TikTok and it's a cat. How freaking cute. Really, uh, should connect my headphones. That that would help, wouldn't it, really? Yes, 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 it would. Okay, are we ready? Are we comfortable? Do we have our snacks and beverages? Yes, okay, great. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that, I sound like a dog. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. I like that a lot. I do still have quite a soft spot for realism tattoos. I don't see them that often anymore. I feel like it might be like, well, I wouldn't say it's a dying art. That's obviously a stupid thing to say. There's obviously a lot of realism tattoo artists out there still, but when it comes to like social media and stuff, I don't see realism that often anymore. I don't know whether it's my like algorithm, who I follow and all of that, but like realism at one point was my f Why did my headphones just say call ended like I was on a call? Are you serious? Basically, I got new headphones and I'm still trying to figure out how to work them. And it just told me call ended and I was not on no call. At least I hope not. Could you imagine if someone heard that? Anyway, but yeah, with realism tattoos, they were literally my favorite style for the longest time for like a decade. And then I started to really enjoy like the bolder side of things, you know, traditional black work and all of that. But I still have such a soft spot for realism and it's nice to see a bit of realism, you know, it's nice to see. Okay, I figured it out. The call ended situation. 
I just had to like turn them off and turn them back on again, I think. And it thought every time I was on TikTok, it was a call or something. That was just super weird. Anyway, I just know this is going to be terrible. What is, th oh, come on, seriously? How can, any like, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so bad it looks like an infection like this person literally just tattooed an infection into the skin like possibly actually tattooed and then gave this person an infection but this tattoo looks like an infection at the same time you got two for one in here it's so bad like I, the thing is i know what it's meant to be it's meant to be like a joker ha 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 situation okay like this 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 it's not pretty it's not readable at all. Like, it just doesn't, it's just, I don't understand. Like, I fully, like, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna piss some people off by saying this, but some people just should not be a tattoo artist, okay? Like, if you don't have the skill or don't have the want to improve on your skill, okay, and make actual art that looks nice, what is the point? It's like being a chef, you know? Bad chefs get a bad rep, don't they? You you know, if you give people food poisoning all the time and stuff, you're a bad chef, nobody wants to go to you. I don't know why, I don't know why the tattoo industry is sometimes different and people just like, don't see bad tattoo art. Do you, am I making sense? I'm probably not making any sense here, but. Seriously, look, come on. You're telling me this is okay. In what planet is this type of tattoo okay to anybody? Look at those eyes. They're like LSD eyes right there. They're like purple and trippy and shit. Like, what is the point? <laughs> this is so bad. Like, this is giving, like, sleep paralysis. Pa paralysis. <laughs> sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis demon. It's so scary. And it's not meant to be scary. And like, what I don't understand with the moon and the colours, like, what, what are we going for here? What is this? I'm quite scared. I mean, the purples are pretty purple. That's about it. <laughs> you know, this is what I'm saying. Just some people should not be tattoo artists, you know? Or at least if you want to be a tattoo artist, practice your art, okay? Because at the end of the day, these people are scarring people for life. You All these girls using anymore. this sound no. with two Honey, tattoos. would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. I mean, I would not be throwing rocks in this glass house, you know? Like, this dude has, on show, two tattoos. And that hand tattoo, I'm sorry, I would not be flexing that hand tattoo. It looks atrocious, okay? Like, I cannot deal with men coming for women like this, you know? Like, shut the hell up. Stay in your lane. This is not the time or the place for you to be inserting your opinions. I'm in a sassy mood today, can you tell? <laughs> I'm just not in the mood to be putting up with men. Like, I'm just looking, I'm watching this again and it's just irritating. I can't leave my fucking house without hearing, did it hurt? Did your tattoos hurt? <laughs> you sound fucking dumb. You sound like an idiot. You sound stupid. Did your tattoos hurt? Excuse me, ma'am, 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 excuse me. Did your tattoos hurt? I just tried to go to Target! I'm wearing a 2X t-shirt right now. And I can't stop getting bothered oh. by men! Do you have any idea how fucking frustrating it is? Three times before I got in my car from my house! Did your tattoos hurt? Of course they did, you fucking moron! You sound so dumb! Oh. Leave me alone! <laughs> I fully understand that frustration of the question of did it hurt? Because it's kind of like, well, yeah, obviously, you know, like the needles involved to do this. And obviously some tattoo placements don't hurt as much as the others. But I feel like as a whole, most tattoos hurt in some way. Like, unless you use numbing cream, you can feel something, right? There's, there's a sensation there for everybody, no matter what. Some people will say it hurts, some people will say it doesn't, but I think as a consensus, um, most of them do hurt in some way, or you can feel them in some way, right? So it, that kind of question of like, did it hurt? Like, what? Yeah, it, it's kind of a silly question. I mean, obviously some people are asking because they're just genuinely curious and they just want to know because maybe they want that placement tattooed. But if you hear that question a lot, I guess it can get frustrating and annoying because it's kind of like, well, yeah, obviously. But especially as this person seems to have a lot of black work, like blackout, that hurts. No matter who you are, that 
freaking sucks, okay? Like, I don't think there's anyone that's ever had blackout that has said, yeah, no, that didn't hurt at all. Like, there's just no way, you know? Like, I've got sections of blackout on my, on this arm and it freaking killed. It was not fun, okay? Point of view, you start and finish a back piece in a hundred days. My lord, that's like three months, right? Oh! Oh! See, this is what I mean. This is a good tattoo, okay? If you need a comparison from the couple of tattoos I showed um, a moment ago, and this, this is good art. This is good tattoo work, and this, thi fantastic, okay? Wonderful. This is what I'm saying. You have the terrible tattoo artist, and it's just like, stop. And then you see stuff like this, and you're like, oh, thank God, yes, there is good artists out there. <laughs> So this I won't stop war. I'm I'm having a day today, okay? This I won't stop warring, and as you can probably tell, okay, half of my makeup around my eye has just decided to just disappear. And no matter how much or how many times I touch it up, it just it just stop. It just does not stop. It's so annoying. Does anyone know how to get around this? <sighs> Take my eyeballs out, maybe. I don't know. That's not real. It's not real. This is not real. There is just no way. That is pen or eyeliner. I'm not having this at all. Nobody likes Justin Bieber that much. I'm telling you. No way. Absolutely not. I'm going on their profile to just double shit. Yeah, it's fake. It's fake. <sighs> There's just no way you can fall for this type of stuff. There's just no way. Like, I've, I've seen it. Maybe I've seen it too much and I just don't believe this stuff. You know, because I've never seen someone actually do a fake face tattoo and it's actually been real. People need to start doing these in a way it's a bit more believable. You know, like the Justin Bieber thing to me just isn't believable at all. But if someone did like a flower on their face or something, I would instantly believe it. Because it's always like the dumb stuff that people fake that they're getting on their face, you know, and it's just, it's just stupid. What is happening? No. This is not real. Are you serious? See, this one I kind of believe. I don't know why. I think it's because it's just so messy. I don't... This is on some random reshare account, so I, it's not... I'm not going to be able to know if this person actually did it or not. Again, I don't know whether to believe this one or not, because I, the thing is, this one looks a lot more real to me. I think it's because everything's like wrapped and there's like, it just looks real, okay? Why? Especially on your back, you cannot see a thing on your back, okay? Just, I guess someone's doing it for art reasons or I don't know, well, why? How much money would you be willing to take in exchange for you tattooing your own back? Like everyone has a price, don't they, right? For something stupid. Do you have a price? What would it be? What would mine be? I don't know, like, I feel like it would have to be a lot of money. I don't know, what, what what's the amount where I could just live on an island for the rest of my life? 20 million, maybe? Is that, is, yeah, I would probably do it for 20 mil. <laughs> Tips for people getting tattoos from a tattoo artist. Contrary to popular belief, tattoos do not have to have meaning. If you want to have a memorial tattoo or a tattoo that has meaning, then by all means, but if you wanted to just get a random squiggle because you wanted a random squiggle, that's your business. Do not hold your breath while you're getting tattooed. That is how people pass the hell out. Do not get a tattoo after you just worked out. And then don't go to the gym after you get a tattoo. <laughs> Numbing cream actually works, but it has to be applied properly. So your best bet is just having your tattoo artist do it for you. When you go to sit on the tattoo bed, sit in the middle section. Y'all be sitting on the edges and wonder why the damn bed tip over. <laughs> it's important to do color tests before you get a colorful tattoo because you need to see how the ink is going to react to your skin and also your skin tone. Be original, dude. I'm not saying you have to draw all of your tattoos from scratch, but definitely don't go to Pinterest and see a butterfly on a girl's arm right here and be like, hey, I want the exact same thing in the exact same spot. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Ask your tattoo artist what their preferred method of payment is before they start tattooing you. Use breaks to hydrate yourself and keep like a sweet treat around just to get your blood sugar gets low. And if you're gonna get somebody's name tatted, use a font that's easily cover upable. <laughs> this is all solid advice. I can't say anything to add on to this. It is all solid advice, like I just said. But I love how they mentioned about getting onto the bed 
doing like sitting in the middle section oh my gosh that is the most helpful advice I think out of all of this because I am a nervous person when it comes to getting onto these beds okay I always aim for the middle anyway but I'm always so scared that they're gonna like tip over or collapse on me or you know like I'm gonna roll off or something like I'm very clumsy I am the most unelegant person at the best of times but getting on a, a tattoo bed it's not pretty it's not it's not a sight that anyone should see hi my name's fade i'm a natural tattoo fitting bomb for tattoos that you don't want i'm anymore. sorry all you do is open me up no wipe me on and you're done it could be simpler no i'm 100 natural origin no right absolutely not i, I am not seriously even tattoo fading bomb what no what kind of snake oil is that are you serious is this real or is it no i think it's real <gasps> i think it's real i'm just looking at their profile and they sell loads of like just stuff and things that look like you know like homemade kind of stuff yeah handmade natural skincare remedies from seattle washington <gasps> no. Someone commented saying, how long does it take to get the tattoo gone? Three to six months, enjoy our lovely products. What? What's in it that breaks down the ink? Neem oil, licorice extract, and essential oils. There's just no way. I'm sorry, there's just nothing. You need laser for this kind of stuff. Like even with laser, it takes months and months and months and years. What, what makes you think some kind of natural ujima flip okay is gonna get rid of a tattoo in three to six months when a laser takes sometimes over two years shut up like what do they have to prove because the tattoo that they've used as an example like the little grim reaper situation that's a temporary tattoo that's a fake tattoo that's not a real tattoo like where is the proof of their claims i don't think there's anything on their profile to show that this works like you cannot just be out here saying something's gonna fade within three to six months and have nothing to back it up there's nothing there's no example videos or nothing oh that's not good that's a that's a lawsuit waiting to happen right there if you ask me honey no oh, this eye i'm so tempted to just wipe off half of my makeup at this point because what is the point in this tattoos you'll regret what for sixty dollars it might be worth the risk you know depending what it's gonna be is it gonna be a penis i bet it's a penis it's always gonna be a penis isn't it or some kind of um bodily anatomy kind of deal what is it what is it what is it what is it, what is it? oh oh that is adorable see i wouldn't regret this this is so cute it's a little balloon dog doing a little balloon poop that's my kind of shit right there. <laughs> Thing is though me, I wouldn't get something cute like that. I would get like a massive flange looking thing. I just know it. Talking about flange looking things, <laughs> this looks so suspicious. Like I literally clocked this at this moment talking about flange looking things, okay? And <laughs> I can't believe this. That isn't what you think it is. It is some overnight heat roller things. I just took a picture of what it looks like, like up close kind of thing. But doesn't that look so suspicious? It does, doesn't it? Oh, it's quite terrible. There's this creator that I've been following on here for a while and she's got a pretty big following. I do like her, but she did say this one thing that I was kind of like, mm. she said that if she were as hot as Margot Robbie, she would never get a tattoo. And honestly, I could not disagree more. I think that if Margot Robbie got a tattoo... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh, Margot Robbie is freaking stunning, though. Like, she is the epitome of gorgeousness but for me i think the most stunning actress ever of all time is anne hathaway okay i'm an anne hathaway gal through and through she is just she's so pretty and she's so beautiful and she's so gorgeous and she's just oh like if i could look like anyone in the world it would be anne hathaway or emma stone i think emma stone is adorable or Megan Fox, obviously. Meg Megan Fox. I mean, oh, come on. <laughs> Megan Fox, honey. Oh, man. Imagine Anne Hathaway with tattoos. 
Yeah. I physically cannot keep filming um, because my eye just won't stop watering. I think I'm gonna have to come back and film the rest of this another day, which I've literally never had to do. I normally just power through it and if my eyes look like crap, they look like crap, but it's physically like streaming. Yeah, I've basically just rubbed all of my eye makeup away, literally just by doing that because my eyes are so um what's the word oh god it's just getting worse yeah this ain't happening <laughs> that i am not i cannot oh my god <sighs> nope there's no fit there's no fixing this there is the only way i'm gonna fix this is if i take all my makeup off and start again but my eyes are still gonna be watering so much today like this is gonna be my life for the rest of the day basically just my eyes streaming for what for why i don't know this is basically what my eye looked like up close i don't think it's very noticeable um from far away like with the camera and stuff but in my mind it looked like the absolute worst so i yeah i i stopped filming basically and then i carried on filming with no makeup on here is your warning it's a bit of a jump scare to go from like full face makeup to nothing okay like makeup helps me a lot let me <laughs> i'm a bit of a catfish hello i am back i had a little tantrum i wiped off my makeup i had a little lay down because i was just so frustrated and i was debating on whether coming back with no makeup on my face or not because i don't particularly like to record videos with no makeup on my face i, I don't know why it's just one of those things that whenever i make like a main video like this I like to have makeup on my face, you know, like with my vlogs and stuff. I don't care so much. I don't know why, because those videos are a little bit more casual, but I actually don't think I've ever filmed a, a main video, um, or what I would call my main content um, without makeup on my face before, you know, like it's just, <sighs> at least now while my eyes are watering, it's not gonna be so noticeable because you're not gonna see like a, a line around my eyes where all my makeup is just like rubbed off. So that's something. Anyway, I debated on whether coming back to continue filming today or um, just wait an until another day, you know, maybe when my eyes are sort of watering. But then I thought, well, every day my eyes water. So I'm just going to be just as frustrated in a couple of days as I am today. So anyway, I put on my big girl pants. I'm here. My mama did not raise no quitter. I am not going to let my silly little eyes and my silly little makeupless face destroy today's content <laughs> okay enough moaning about my leaky eyeballs um we're gonna carry on yes are we ready okay great does anyone else have a people pleaser tattoo a people pleaser tattoo mm -hmm. i mean they censored it out you knew you didn't like it and you could have had the chance to say that you didn't want it done before they got the needle and stuck it in your skin but you just let them like i know this is permanently going to be on my skin but right i'm just gonna let you do it because i don't want to say anything this is my people no. pleaser tattoo sometimes i look at it and i think god you really need to grow a pair of balls i don't understand because there's obviously something they're not happy about it with you know but to me that looks like a perfect tattoo is, is there a spelling mistake oh there's probably is there a spelling mistake hang on because I can't spell. That looks fine to me. What's, what, I don't understand what's wrong with it. Why, why are you sad? But anyway, I don't see anything wrong with it personally, but I guess they're not happy with it. And this is a good warning to you to always speak up if you don't like something about a tattoo. You know, for whatever reason, whether it's the script, how thick it is, the size of it, the placement, it's better to say no before you get the tattoo because when you get the tattoo it's a permanent issue that you have to deal with or somewhat permanent issue you have to deal with because obviously there is laser but laser takes time anyway so you're better off just saying what it is you don't like about it tattoo artists are more than aware that what they're about to do for you or put on your body is permanent and they much prefer you are 100 percent happy with it than not you know don't feel like you're being a difficult person whatsoever and if a tattoo artist isn't happy with the fact that you're saying mm, can we change this about it then that's a red flag on their part you know like they have to be understanding of your wants and needs feeling good about tattoos am i running out of space oh it's the worst thing yeah 
<laughs> no, not the inner elbows. Oh. It's honestly one of the most spiciest placements and I'm so glad I never have to do it ever, ever again. Both of my inner elbows are tattooed. And yeah, it's the, it, oh, the inner knee or like behind the knee that I haven't done, which I know from everyone telling me it is atrocious. I can already feel the burning and the scratching and the hot wet fire that is behind the knees. And honestly, I'm gonna try and avoid it for as long as possible. You know, maybe not even get tattooed there. What happens behind me isn't a me problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's behind me. Argue with yourselves. <laughs> if the blank space bothers you, that's a that's a you problem. It's not a me problem. I can't see behind there, so. What's a weird tattoo oh request my. you've gotten? Personal favorite was the guy that came in asking for an emergency portrait of his wife. Because she was about to divorce him and he wanted no. to save his marriage. <laughs> that is not how you save a marriage. By getting... Oh, no. See, that would make me want to divorce someone <laughs> so much more. Like, say if, like... Oh, touch wood. I hope it never happens. But say if, like, me and Tom were breaking up or whatever. And he thought the best way to save the relationship is to get, like, a portrait tattoo of me. I would, that would make me want to break up with him even more. Are you kidding me? Instead of like improving on whatever is happening in within the relationship that makes people break up or whatever, like the tattoo would be like a band-aid. Like, no, stop it. Improve on what is wrong. Instead of doing this silly little tattoo thing, like I wouldn't find that romantic or sweet or cute or anything. I'd find that possessive and creepy and weird. I'm looking for a girl in witchcraft. Tattoos. <laughs> Five three black cat tattoos. Five three black cat. Oh god! I'm looking for a girl in witchcraft tattoos. Five three black cat. I'm looking for a 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 girl in witchcraft tattoos. Five three. Oh my god! That was ten out of ten. I mean, I personally cannot help this person. I am not five three. I am five seven slash five eight. It depends on what's measuring me. But I think I'm around about 5'7", okay? I'm not into witchcraft either. I am a bit of a black cat though. I do have the black cat energy. But other than that, I do not fit the uh, criteria. But if any of you do, I think you should go reach out to this person because they have made a wonderful song and they need to be rewarded for their wonderful song with their request. You know, I feel like all dating should be like that from now on, to be honest with you. If someone isn't out there trying to make a song for you, don't take it. No, no. The bar is too high now. If you're a millennial, these are the tattoos that apparently you are very likely to oh, have. Oh no. I thought there's no way I'm too unique to be on this list and I'm on it twice. So oh, maybe no. you'll fall onto it oh, too. God. Okay. Uh, Harry Potter no, tattoos, specifically the Deathly Hollow symbol. Frogs wearing cowboy hats. Any kind of bold cursive script. Apparently dainties and now I, I tried to get script. a dainty one done and the guy messed it up and now it's just a dark blob of letters you can't read. It's great. So that's why millennial core was the way to go. Um, also, dream catchers, nope. compasses, nope. pocket watches, nope. arrows, nope. and um, anchors. Oh, I have an anchor on as the well. list. There's like a couple different variations Damn of it. anchors on this list of millennial core tattoos. One thing I was actually surprised to not see. Okay, as somebody who chose. The majority of her tattoos from Tumblr at a very young age. And I will say, if you're watching this and you're young, you actually do sometimes end up regretting your tattoos. Your parents are not lying. Is the infinity symbol. Don't have that. With the line from the perks of being a wallflower oh, no. in it. From the book and the movie. And in that moment, I swear we were infinite. You know that one? Yep. I read that book like 18 times because that line was circulating so hard on tattoo Tumblr. Anyway, maybe you're on the list and you're feeling a whole lot less unique and special today. But if so, join the club. So it seems I am sadly a victim of the millennial tattoo. I have cursive script on my inner arm here. It says, in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. And that's still a quote that I live by and love so, so much. And I also have, um, can I show you? Yes, I can. I also have an anchor tattoo just here. What would be a Gen Z tattoo? I feel like the black work Pinterest flash is definitely a Gen Z era thing. With peace and love, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, like it, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, probably that. Hey, can I get like a moth tattoo right here? And then? And then I guess a centipede right here? <laughs> and then? And then oh. that right here? <laughs> and then? And that's it? And 
then. And that's it. Just the fairy. Oh. And then. <laughs> and then. Okay, and then. <laughs> For those that have never seen the film, Dude, Where's My Car? I think it's in reference to that, which is an absolute classic. But if you haven't seen it, then you probably wouldn't get this whole joke situation, you know? Oh, ah, uh, some fortune cookies too. And then? Uh, gosh, I think that's about it. And then? Men getting a tattoo. Oh no, oh, that is a spicy placement though, kind of. Oh, they're just holding on for dear life. And they're just full on. Yeah, we've all been there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Just no fucks given at all. Oh, gosh. I mean, it obviously depends per person, per placement, for how long someone's being getting tattooed and all of that. You know, some men can handle it better, some women can handle it better. It depends, okay? But I think women sometimes do take it a little bit better for whatever reason. I don't know, okay? There's definitely science behind it. That science, I do not know. I feel like, not always, obviously, but I feel like sometimes men just react to their pain a bit more extreme than women you know like i've heard men like literally growl and make a fuss while being tattooed and then there's obviously like me just sitting there just like like i think for me i just want to get it over and done with i feel like if i was to make a fuss and just you know stop start stop start i'll be there forever i'd rather just power it out and just get it over and done with i feel like uh, maybe a lot of Women are like that sometimes. I don't want to speak for all of them, but I feel like a lot of them are just like, you know, let's just get it over and done with, you know? Okay, there's a couple of TikToks that I want to share with you that I've already seen. I like to be transparent. Like if I've seen a TikTok before, then I'm going to be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not going to do any fake reactions here. So there's two that have been sent to me, one by my sister and one by uh, Tom's sister. And then we're going to check up on Cheeseburger Tattoo Guy. You were all obsessed with with him from my last video and I believe he's actually got another cheeseburger tattoo. So we're gonna take a look at his profile and then that's it for today's video. Okay, I'm just letting you know. So this one Tom's sister sent to me and it is one of the most iconic tattoos I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so good. And then to put the ColourPop eyeshadow highlighter on top of it, it just, look at that. Seriously, this is the skin of a killer Bella. Look at that. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I still love Twilight. I actually haven't watched Twilight in a couple of years, but I used to at least once or twice a year watch them all the way through and just like be in awe of it all. And like, honestly, I used to be so jealous of Bella. Like I know if the story is pretty actually dark and it's like a bit twisted and it's um like, um yeah, there's undertones within the whole story that just makes it a bit like, Ugh. but like, to be turned into a vampire would be like the ultimate dream for me, you know? Like if I could be anything, it would be a vampire, you know? And I used to be like, oh, it's so unfair, Bella has this life. <laughs> and then the next one, I'm pretty sure my sister sent to me and it's this one. <laughs> it's so good. I love this so much, like iconic, so freaking good. If my body hair was um, dark, I would so, do this but I'm quite fair haired I mean I dye my hair black obviously but my hair is naturally like a blondy kind of colour so my um arm hair and all of that you can't see it oh my god I just went oh I just went on to cheeseburgers profile cheeseburgers I just went on to cheeseburgers um <laughs> that's what I'm calling him <laughs> sorry i'm just i just went oh my god i'm so excited can you tell i just went onto cheeseburger's profile and he follows me <gasps> oh my god royalty is following me i'm following back right this moment in time anyway we're gonna take a look at his most recent cheeseburger tattoo which was posted on the 17th of april there doesn't seem to be one for may as of yet so this guy if you remember oh my gosh i've totally done this no context but basically in my last video i reacted to this guy who is getting a cheeseburger every month for the rest of the year okay because he just loves cheeseburgers i totally understand i reacted to his tiktok of him saying that he's going to do this in my last video and um <sighs> Got hair in my mouth and it seems he's got one for april but he doesn't seem to have one for may as of yet 
I hope he does. I hope he sticks to it because I'm so invested. Anyway, let's look at April's cheeseburger tattoo. All right, today's the day. I'm heading down to the middle of the map tattoo show in Des Moines, Iowa at Hy-Vee Hall to get tattooed. Uh, April cheeseburger coming up. Take you along for the ride. This is sunglasses. Right, we're here at the middle of the map tattoo show. I'm in the booth. That's oh. Dave. He's getting set up. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be amazing. There's a live look. This one's gonna be an absolute crusher. Watch. Oh, that's gonna right, be a spicy placement. <laughs> All right, quick interjection, real quick. Uh, I don't know Dave that well. Uh, we met about a month ago. Oh. Uh, asked him to be part of this leg project. He said yes. He is genuinely one of the nicest people I've mm -hmm. met. He's an ins incredible tattooer and a really outstanding human being, too. So uh, I'll put his link uh, in the description. But yeah, all right, back to the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, everybody. I just got finished tattooing. I'm heading out. Sorry. I didn't get much too, too much footage uh, of the tattoo, but Dave Koenig is fucking what a guy. Uh, check out the tattoo here. Oh, that's tattoo. so cool. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I love it. <laughs> uh, the it's mustard, so uh, the cheese, the bun, the little gray wash green. It's amazing. It is so cool. Oh, I love. Oh, my God. I'm just so invested in this person. It's just like the story, the love for cheeseburgers. It's the sunglasses as well. Like that needs to keep happening. I'm so, I'm going to start filming with sunglasses on, honestly. I'm just so invested in this whole thing. Like we need more cheeseburger dudes in the world. Like stop all this fake face tattoo content bull crap. Okay, we need more cheeseburger guys in the world. Okay, I mean, there's only one. There could only ever be one. But do you know what I'm saying? Like this type of content is just so good okay that is it for today's video i just want to say thank you so so much for hanging out with me apologies for the makeup transformation tantrum situation okay like it was it was a moment we had a moment there but we persevered we carried on and um i'm glad i did because i got to watch cheeseburger and i got to see that he followed me and i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> anyway until my next video i hope you all stay safe and well and until then bye